suggestions in there, I will um, I'll be able to uh, help you uh, with that. Right. So let me move over here. Right. Switch back to the game. Okay. Now uh, I'm going to turn that off and turn that one on. Yeah. Uh, and we don't need that one. And we don't need that one. Um, right. So, um, last time we did platforms on a piece of straight track, um, but there's ways of doing it on curve or doing platforms on curves using the offset tool. But there's wrinkles and things that make that go wrong if you don't realise how to make them work. So, let's lay a piece of track, um, and let's put a bit straight. Then I'm going to come out of there actually and switch it to yard so that we can get a nice tight radius so we're not here all day doing the curve and then we'll come back round that way and we'll come back round that way and we'll go back straight again right so that's got a, uh, a bend now when this person designed um, this railway they decided that the curve would be the best place to put the, uh, to put the platform so um, what uh, what you have to do if you want to put a platform on a curve is you need to as um, I did previously but you can do this using the offset tool around the corner so if we start here on the straight bit come around and go about to there right so if you've done this before then alarm bells ought to be going uh, going off because um, I'm going over two track joints in fact I'm going over three track joints um, and that causes major problems if you don't know what to deal with it um, or how to deal with it so what I'm going to do here is switch to that put 4.1 now I've found something very interesting out you'll notice that these all say left um, what am I teaching everyone this is about platforms it says at the top of the screen right there um, so if I click that you see this says left and then sometimes you can find M's for middles if I put that down if I click it first it might work better if I put that down there it's the wrong way round yeah and I always thought well why did they make the asset the wrong way round or in a way that wasn't very useful to me right now that was not very fair of them <laughs> um, you can drag it like that all I'm doing is clicking it and dragging it and if I do that it flips it. <laughs> How awesome is that? Of course, what I was going to demo doesn't seem like it needs to be demoed because it hasn't actually done a bad job. It's done exactly what it should do. Um, so, that's done the uh, the platform. We then pick the uh, different bits of the platform up uh, and then we can um, raise it. So you'll notice this platform asset has the um, the dipped ends on it, so you don't have to do that yourself. Um, right. Um, so if we go into that, I'm just trying to think: has this done it or not? Have I got to do it again? How is it that it's worked this time? When I last did this, it did not work at all. <laughs> and there's a way round of fixing it that's, that's sort of well known if you, your platform um, goes across there. Let's put a train on there uh, and just show it working. Anytime. Um, where is it? That one over here. So if I um, to put the uh, 170, and we put the 170 sort of midway around the curve here. So that this 170 is now straddling across this joint, um, which is it's technically going to be in two different areas, because um, the track joint is somewhere in the middle there. Now if we go and run that scenario, I need to put driver on him first and run that
Now if I open the doors... Oh! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, yes. Um, it would help if we actually told it it was a platform marker, wouldn't it? Where is it? Marker, platform. Uh, I need to turn uh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one on. Oh. So. Put that there. So that's our platform. That might work better. If we put a platform marker on, it might have a hope. So now, if I press T... There you go. Doors are opening. So the doors are opening even though we're on multiple sections. Um, and we've got people walking up and down the room. Now you can see they're also taking the shortest path, which isn't very nice of them. But we haven't told them not to at the moment, so that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. So let's go back in the world editor then and see what we can do to improve um, their lot in life. Um, if we go to um, our first section, which was this one, and double click it, you get this bit over here. Now I'm going to click generate, and that's going to put the blue boxes on. That will stop the passengers, hopefully, from walking off the platform now. Um, and if you want to, you can move these blue boxes, blue bars in to actually further constrain where they can go. Um, so that's how you control that. You can also control where platform, where passengers come onto the into the world. So if I can remember where they are, <laughs> there's the trick. Um, there's assets for when they en where they enter and exit. There you go. Platform gate entry is this one, uh, and we link that to the platform. So here. So what this is is um, this is a place where passengers will spawn. Um, this link essentially is where they will spawn. Um, so this, you could put this inside a building or um, a gate, an entry gate into things. So you can have multiple of those. And when new passengers spawn, they will always spawn from one of these. There's one which is entry and one which is exit. And then you've got one which is entry exit, which can be used for either. So if I put an exit uh, over here, oops, right, you've got to link it. And then push that up. They normally spawn uh, randomly without those, but they'll spawn, I think, anywhere on the platform or at the beginning over here. They'll always spawn. Whereas this allows you to put specific points where you want them to spawn around the the whole uh, of the platform. Um, so having set those up now, if I run the game again, then the passengers should be, of course what you can't do now is see them. Um, don't worry about those, they were already off the platform so they don't know any better. Um, so if I open the doors again there's someone over here walking off the platform, why are they doing that? Oh well, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Open the doors again. I think it's because I need to come out and go back in again. It hasn't reset. Let me go back in. It hasn't reset because I've told I've suddenly changed stuff out from underneath it and not actually gone in uh, and uh, and given it a chance to uh, reset itself. Right. So what have we got now? So he spawned actually just over here. So if I now press D, you'll see someone else just spawned over here. And then he's walking along. And he's going to walk over to the exit point. So you've got someone else spawning at my entrance point. So this is where the entry-exit stuff is coming into play on the platform. So you can control where the passengers um, go in and come off um, the platform. There you go. So he's just exited. Open the doors again. So that's the entry exit. 
Why no steam trains? Um, because I'm um, just using the assets from Academy. Um, you can also put in point of interests. So if I um, put a point of interest in the middle here, and again you track you track link it essentially, even though it's track linked to the platform, um, you track link put a point of interest in here. Uh, and what we'll do is if I just find um, that. Put that there. If we now run that, we'll have to come out and go back in again. The idea is a point of interest is somewhere they'll congregate if they, you know, as part of their random meanderings. So you can do um, things that will help the platform, the passengers to um, uh, avoid things. You can put occlusions in. Um, last time I tried that, I didn't get it to work, so I don't know what I did wrong there. But when I figure that out, I'll let you know. <laughs> Doors open. All right, no one's going for our point of interest. I don't know whether I have to do something to make it more interesting. Apparently this point of interest isn't very interesting at all. <laughs> got no takers. We've got no takers. No? Alright then. That's the idea though. It's a way of getting a dispatcher to avoid a marker. Uh, no. Um, specifically route it somewhere else. Specifically add routes to the train so that it'll go somewhere else. Yeah, I'm clearly not winning here. But anyway, that's that. Right, so, um, the, the one thing that I wanted to show on here, uh, other than being able to flip that um, marker, so that you can reverse the direction of the platforms is uh, what to do if the platform goes down bad um, so let's go back into the editor and, and try again <laughs> let's see if I can make it go wrong this time um, so let's do it as mainline this time So if I put a platform in across, so block mark across the joint, offset tool 4.1 platform, let's put the old one in, uh, flip that, no, now put it in. Why is it when I'm trying to do a demo of what to do when things don't work? They work. Right, okay, so when things don't work, <laughs> let's just pretend things haven't worked. Um, around about here, you get like a big rectangle, a red rectangle showing up, a bit like when track joints haven't worked. Uh, and even though it looks fine, what happens is it's not actually going to work with the um, platform. Um, so the platform, will only, effectively only one half of the platform will have passengers and the doors won't open on the other half. So what you have to do there, so let's assume we've got our... Um, uh, our problem here is we need to cut that out and relay it so we need to lay another bit on the end which we will get rid of in a minute and then we get rid of one section at a time so we do that one and get rid of it and then we lay another bit that starts there and if you then hold the control key you can see it snaps to there and that will put that section essentially back and what you'll find 
is that that new section is is in, and then that whatever that problem was, it um, it goes away. Um, so you see, you've got the, di the, the red triangle there. So we can get rid of that one. We don't want it anyway. But the idea is, if you have problems with your, your platforms because they're in multiple sections like this, and you don't, uh, and it's not working with the um, platform, with the passengers, um, what you need to do is just delete it one section at a time and relay one section at a time, and you'll see that it cleans out and gets rid of all of those problems along there. That's really the the, the thing that you want to uh, you want to try and do. Um, what have I done? I don't know what I've done differently. Over here, I ran, I did this earlier on, on this example, um, and it it completely broke. It completely broke, and I had to fix it, which is exactly what I was expecting to have to do. Whereas when I do this live on the stream, it's like, no, 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 nothing's going to go wrong here. Everything's fine. Um, okay. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, I think that's probably enough. Thank you for the follow, uh, Immortum. Much appreciated. Yeah, I think that will actually do. Is there a handy way to align track to a curved platform? Um, not really, no. Um, I don't think so, no, Lowlands Gamer. Uh, I think you should always um, try and uh, you know you lay the thing. So you lay the lay your track and then put your platforms around it. Um, if you've got platform that's already down, then that's a bit more tricky. Um, Sometimes the doors on the train don't open even when I'm in the station. So if it's your route, then it's probably something to do with the this problem here. Go and re um, refix the platform, and it should sort it out. Um, what happened with this test route over here is with the uh, 170 in this location, because there's a joint there, um, that door wouldn't open. And then when I moved it further down to where this joint is up here, um, again the door wouldn't open. So. Um, Oh, actually, there's a red triangle there. Ah, okay. So let me have another look here. We'll do a. Gal just said actually to uh, split and re-weld re -weld it. So let's try that. So if I lay um, lay a straight, and we'll do a left, and we'll do a right, and we'll do a left, and we'll do a straight, and then this one here. Let us split that, and then we will re-weld that. So we've got a triangle there now. Now if we do our mega platform, offset tool, 4.1, platform, that one, just flick that round, and then put it in. So it's only done it there, so let's flip that round and do that one. So now we've got our red box. So there you go. That's the problem. That's the problem. So we come off there and now we need to fix that problem. So if you put the passenger train here, it won't actually work. Um, so now what you need to do is relay that section and then relay the next section. So if we have a look, that's actually the final section. So we need to just add another bit to the end. and then get rid of that section and if we then lay this one back down ourselves what you'll find is that the joint error has gone now which means that the platform will now work as a single platform this we can get rid of, don't need it that was the extra bit that I added So there you go. That that's how you fix that particular problem. If you get a problem with the um, the um, the platform not working, delete and relay the um, the bits in there. What's the best way to make a track and marking platform beside of an uh, asset station like Hamburg? I actually have no idea. Um, that I don't know the, what the best way of doing that. I think it's just done very carefully and by very skilled people. Um, 
Right. Okay, that was all I wanted to... Um, will the join track tool not work on platforms? I don't know. This is the way I was, I was, uh, it was explained to me to do it. Um, let's try it. <laughs> let's try these things out. Set to yard. track layout is getting slightly more wacky every time. Right, so if we break and rejoin this over here. And then we do the platform on there. Offset tool. So we've got the section, so if we flip that I flick that and then go into there and there. Can we then do a join? No, you can't do a join on there. Look. So that's the join and nothing's showing up. Whereas I think over here you actually get a um, a marker to join. So that's is there a weld? No, there's no weld. So can I join that and that? Oh, here you go. Now you've got the triangle. Once it's joined, you get the triangle. And I don't think triangle works either, um, which means that uh, so what you need is to get rid of anything there. Um, so and that's the only way you can do that is to delete and relay that se these sections one at a time all the way around until the end. Um, right. Okay. That's that done. Um, let me switch back to changing. I hope that was useful, folks. Um, I will. I will do more. If you've got any more questions about things. Then, um, then do let me know, uh, and I'll do my best to find answers for you.